morning guys welcome to the youtube channel of the bitcoin family you might remember us for the new ones we are that family that sold their house their pensions their motorbikes their cars everything went all into bitcoin and started traveling the world now three years later after spending five beautiful months in thailand Kopangan, we are back to our hometown venlo for two weeks coming to you guys from at Jormordal in venlo it's a beautiful piece of nature where i will talk to you about the daily news in blockchain bitcoin and life in today's videos guys i'm going to compare bitcoin with all the other assets all over the world and show you how much bitcoin outperformed most of these assets but i'm also going to show you how many altcoins are now outperforming bitcoin so we can compare this situation to the 2017 bull run very interesting facts guys in this video also showing you guys that the printing of money is not that bad for Bitcoin because history has shown that the more money is being printed the higher the Bitcoin price goes and I'm going to show you this with a beautiful chart also sharing with you a chart where we can see how many unbanked people there are and which regions in this world still have the most unbanked people and to end the video guys I'm going to show you that the options market is predicting Bitcoin is not going to 7k but is going to 11k because yesterday's video I asked you guys is Bitcoin going to 7k these option traders they think a little bit different than you guys it is an amazing video and an amazing piece of nature where I try to do what I did here when I was younger. You will enjoy it. Please enjoy this video, guys. Let's take a jump into another beautiful place here in Venlo. Whoa! Welcome to Het Jormordal. Yes, probably hard to pronounce for a lot of you guys, but here in Venlo, this is a beautiful piece of nature. It's called Het Jormordal. And I spent many of hours here together with my father and my mother when I was younger, and also with my friends, because it's a beautiful piece of nature with, with some water where you could swim you could jump off these high hills of sand and all that stuff it's an amazing place i will talk to you about blockchain life and cryptocurrency while i walk through this beautiful piece of nature i am a little bit sick as you can hear in my voice yes i caught a cold probably because it is cold here in the netherlands it's not pretty warm it's like between 18 and 20 degrees today should be a little bit better it's too cold for me my nose is like how do you say this in English my nose is stuffed <laughs> I don't know how you say it but let's take a walk into a Jomardal so I thought because I am sick I'm going to take a short walk into nature to get some fresh air and maybe get this sickness out of me by talking about the news with you guys um, last night we went for dinner with our friends with Hul and Ronnie and Ilz and Sandra we went to Eddie Sushi he again had amazing food it was so cool to see that Eddie's Sushi has been growing tremendously I was there in the beginning when Eddie started his whole sushi adventure when we took him with our casino to a stand I think in Berlin um, at that stand or was it London I don't know for sure one of these two I think it was Berlin he uh, was the cook at our stand he created all these sushis to give away to all the people that visited the casino stand at that time it was an amazing time that is when I got to know uh, Eddie a little bit better and better and then he started to grow and grow and grow and now came back to his restaurant yesterday and he grew tremendously it's the restaurant was packed he is opening another restaurant man Eddie I'm really proud and, uh, and congratulations with having about 50 employees now <laughs> I know it's stressful but man keep going because you're doing a great job and the food was delicious again I read a few articles this morning but again I'm a little bit sick and um, so I didn't take too much time to do it but there was this beautiful article that was now stating the difference between Bitcoin's performance Ethereum's performance and all the other stock markets out there and Bitcoin is still doing an amazing job guys if we look at Ethereum Ethereum's performance year to day which means starting January till today Ethereum went up with 88% 88% return on investment if you would have bought on the 1st of January Bitcoin had a beautiful return of investment of 34% 
that's still a shitload of return of investment if you ask me. So if you would have invested 10k at the 1st of January, you would now have 13.5k. There's a lot of profit in these couple of months. For example, gold guys, gold only did 17%. So that's the half of the performance of Bitcoin. Gold also is also a good store of value, but it didn't perform as well as Bitcoin. Bitcoin outperformed gold with almost a double. Take a look at the stocks. The stocks did minus 3%. Minus 3%, guys. Bonds did minus 6%. Real estate did minus 23%. Commodities did minus 26%. It's negative. So you, so you would have been losing money if you would have invested in these industries, guys. Let's not start about oil. Oil went down with 34%. I just arrived at these hills, sandy hills, where we, we used to jump down from as a kid. It brings back a lot of memories. It's a beautiful location. I will share it with you. Check it. No Let's see if I can still do it, guys. We, we were used to run here like two, three meters and take a long jump. And then we landed somewhere there on the sand. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it again. We'll bring back a lot of funny memories. I'm going to test it out. How much To jump all up the way to here man <laughs> this old guy can only jump till here now terrible terrible i'm getting old i need to bring my kids here they need to break my record i'm going to walk you down for the rest of the park because this jump was already far enough for this old guy let's walk down guys while walking down let's talk about the bull market in 2017 guys you know in 2017 the alts they outperformed bitcoin tremendously if we take a look at this chart, bam, this one, you can see that how much the alts outperformed Bitcoin at that point. We took the mid-cap alts, so it's like an average of all the mid-cap alts, and they made a huge return of investment of about 5,770%. 5,770% if you would have invested in a mix fund of alts at that time. That's a huge run, guys. Bitcoin in the same period did about 1,250%, which is also a tremendous return of investment. I think no other single stock has ever performed like this before. The performance of these alts is a combination of many alts. The performance of Bitcoin is just Bitcoin, 1,250%. But you see the same happening now again, guys. You can see that this bull run is near. Why? Because you see these alts outperforming Bitcoin at the moment. We have seen Ethereum already outperforming Bitcoin. We have seen the massive runs by Chainlink, by Algorand, by many of these alts are running massively upwards. They are outperforming Bitcoin big time. Like I already said many times, when Bitcoin goes sideways, the altcoins will go up. When Bitcoin will start to run, guys, be aware these altcoins can lose a lot of value. Because if you think about it logically, if I made a huge profit with Chainlink and now I see Bitcoin starting to run, I sell my Chainlink, buy my Bitcoin and take that profit as well because I already had profit in Chainlink. And if everybody is going to sell their Chainlink, it is going to decline in price. So this is the game I play also as a long-term investor. I'm just here to warn you guys that if Bitcoin starts to run, be aware that your alt performance can drop. So please. Play this game well and exchange your altcoins on the right time to Bitcoin so you take that run as well. Guys, another very positive indicator that we are going to see a bull run is this chart. Bam! Do you see it? This chart shows the correlation between the monetary base and the Bitcoin price. What is the monetary base? The monetary base is just all the money around in the world, all the notes and all the coins. So all this money around in the world is also correlating to Bitcoin. As you can see, the more money is being printed by the Fed. 
you can see this huge increase of printing the last couple of years. The Bitcoin price is rising with this printing. I don't think it's bad that the Fed is printing more and more because if they keep printing more and more, people keep investing this free money more and more into Bitcoin, which will increase the value of Bitcoin as well. I think if Bitcoin can stay aligned with this printing of money, you can, you can see the same kind of growth then Bitcoin will be just growing finely. And then at that time, Bitcoin probably has shown its stability and Bitcoin has shown its power so that people will slowly step into this new world of cryptocurrency because they already got used by using these stable currencies everywhere in the world. And then there will be a time in five till 10 years that people will believe Bitcoin and step into Bitcoin as if it is nothing, no more fear. So this will take another few years, but at the end, I think Bitcoin will be one of the biggest monetary changes we have ever seen in our history. So Mr. Fed and all the people working at the Fed, can you print a little bit more money? <laughs> just print it. Like I said in many previous videos, just print that money, give everybody a fair cut of this money so that nobody needs to die out of hunger and that people that already have a lot of money can now diversify your free money into Bitcoin. So please keep printing. You're doing a great job. <laughs> And if we take a look at this chart, guys, that one, you can see that we still have 1.7 billion unbanked people, the largest amount of people without banks we can see in China, India, Indonesia, and Africa. These people don't have the same luxury as you guys have. They, they don't have access to a bank account, so they cannot transact value all over the world to family or friends, or even receive donations from governments that wanna temporarily help them when there is a COVID situation or something else. There is no opportunity for them to receive money. This chart is showing you how many people still are unbanked. And this also indicates how important it is for cryptocurrency to succeed. Because if cryptocurrency succeeds, all these people, these 1.7 billion people, they don't even need a bank account, guys. They just need a telephone. And with this telephone, they can transact value all over the world without fees. This is one of the core fundamentals, guys, of Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. It is that we are banking the unbanked in a decentralized way that is not overseen by any centralized organization or government. The power of Bitcoin, guys. Amazing place for kids to play. I will take the kids here this week as well because they will love it. I don't think they are going to swim like we did because the water is not that clear anymore. But who knows, guys, who knows? Are you enjoying this beautiful piece of nature, guys? Yes, I do. Many memories back to me, and I love this piece of Venlo. If you like the video so far, give it a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified on every video I make. What I don't like is that all these young people throw their trash here. It's a lot of plastic. So I'm going to pick a few of these cups up now because this beautiful piece of nature should stay beautiful. So to all the people in Venlo, can you please stop dropping all this trash here in at your model? Please pick it up, take it with you at home or put it in a trash can, guys. Bye. Just throw it in a trash can, man. Like, don't be this lazy. If you're a big guy, you're a big girl, and you're going out here to drink and have some beer and vodka and whatever, throw the shit away, man. To these people in Venlo, this belongs in a trash can. There. Yesterday, guys, I made a video with the thumbnail, is Bitcoin going to drop to 7K? I'm using these thumbnails as a clickbait. And yes, I'm talking about that Bitcoin could go to 7K, but it doesn't mean that I expect Bitcoin to go to 7K. Yes, sadly guys, you need to use these clickbait titles and these thumbnails because I have a goal. My goal is to grow this YouTube channel so we monetize it. And when we monetize it, we are going to give away these revenues. Just like you saw that we gave away the revenues last week in Koh Phangan. We were able to share 3,500 US dollar with those people, those poor people in Koh Phangan that are now jobless and don't have food. 
this is the goal of our YouTube channel, of the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. We want to monetize it, to share it with poor people. And that is why I need to play this game of using clickbait titles and thumbnails so that people will see the content. Coming back to the 7K Bitcoin price, I can show you another fact why I don't think it's going to happen. If you look at the options game in Bitcoin, so the put and the call options, for the month of July, most of the traders expect Bitcoin to go to 11K as there are 13,000 call options and there are only 12,000 put options. So this is a bullish sign. More traders expect us to go up, but they are very close to each other, which means, of course, that it also can go sideways because there isn't a big difference between these two. If we look to the options in August, we can see a huge difference. In August, the options that call for an 11K price, these are now 18,000 of them. And if we look at the put options that call for a 7,500 price in August, that's only 3,500 of them. So 18,000 versus the 3,500, that's a huge difference and makes me also bullish about Bitcoin, guys. Because if these experienced traders think that we are going to go up to 11K and 18,000 of call options are bought versus 3,500 of put options, this is a bullish sign not negative in my opinion. That's why I think we will slowly crawl to 9,500, 10,000, 10,500 and 11,000 in the next couple of weeks into August. And of course guys, I'm going to end the video like I end it always because you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living. Enjoy these beautiful hikes in beautiful nature without stressing about the Bitcoin charts and you will feel, I think, a little bit more relaxed. And see you tomorrow again. Bye.